Hello there, my name is Kieran. I'm a member of the Dumpy Men community. Many of you may know me as someone who draws a ton of artwork for this goddamn game. Well, because I've had some people uh, that in the server have stated that they have trouble drawing gentlemen, I figured I would provide a, a bit of a tutorial on how I draw them. Uh, this is going to be mainly focused with digital art, and I'm going to show you the entire process. Alright, so, first things first, let's draw the head. As you may know, gentlemen have a whole bunch of head shapes. It's very unique. It's something that the deaf men in general is kind of known for. The fact that they have really big heads and have different shapes. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to draw a, dem uh, a Dempa man with a circular head. Or fry. Alright, close enough. I'm just gonna fix it up a little a little bit. It's driving me nuts. There. Now, I'm going to start oh, a new layer. I am using paint tool side. Some people in the server use procreate and other things. Uh, so, a face. Uh, some faces of gentlemen kind of look like Here's just what I'm drawing of a dumpling man that I have named Wilson. As an example, some dumpling men have hair around these heads. Like with uh, Hashihiro Taro, I think that's his name. simplicity's sake, I will start off with drawing one that is rather iconic. I'm going to be drawing Crystal in this tutorial. <laughs> if I can get her face shape correct. Or at least correct enough. And as you can see, gentlemen don't have unique faces. Some have visible, don't have visible nose, don't have visible nose, some have visible nose, some have very wide eyes that are completely blank. Others have very narrow eyes, and others will have uh, rather unique eyes. has small beady eyes. Kind of draw that for you. Most people will use guides on like, where to put uh, certain facial features. I kind of just wing it half the time. 
time, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make a little die here. And then I love how I switch different things. I do that. Alright, then I'm gonna do her nose. And of course, do her big old rosy cheeks. See? She look, she's looking a little bit more like Crystal. Now, here comes the a little bit more difficult part hair. Some gentlemen have hair. Not all of them do, as evidenced by little Wilson over here. What you're going to want to do is kind of draw like a crescent shape. I'm going to do another one. Build on top of it. This is where you want to place it, roughly. And then for the other side, a smaller crescent, and one that is slightly tucked in. I did it a little bit. There. And that's how you do the hair. Now, for some members of the community, one particular difficult Part was actually drawing the body. Some people couldn't exactly get, a, get the bean shape correct of a gentleman's body. Many often go for a more uh, oblong shape, like, uh, here, let me scroll down here, like the official artwork in the first game. Let me draw something to demonstrate. Good at uh, doing like an example. Kind of like this. However, most gentlemen bodies kind of have a bit of a bean shape. like this. Or if you're going for a side profile, something like that. And some gentlemen are short, some are tall. They messed up the chubbier and a bit stockier. Others are thin and tall. remains consistent is usually the body that ends up being taller. 
that can save the legs. Legs is definitely... Legs of gentlemen often are rather short and stocky compared to their body. This is even demonstrated in the artwork. But in Crystal's case, she is relatively short, even if the artwork doesn't fully portray that. Our body. Now let's move on to drawing the arms. You're going to also want to do kind of a bean shape. Something like, like that for the arm. It's like the body except a bit more narrow. And keep in mind the arms are disproportionate body being slightly longer and passed around where the, the knee is. But some double men don't have it going that far, especially if they're particularly tall. And now for the leg. You are not particularly perfect at drawing the legs.
There we go. Now let's draw her antenna. Drawing the antennae of them for that case might be a bit of a pain in the ass. But in Crystal's case, her antenna is pretty easy to draw. Although sometimes I do fuck up on it. Then, that. However, I'm going to do this. That. And now, I'm going to connect every part of the body from the players all together. all these other people out of the way. Sorry that I'm not great at these things. 